Hello there. Hi YouTube. How are you? So, let's put all our um, all of our butt cheeks on the table here for a sec. You know, really uh, get naked before each other here. Um, I recorded about an hour and a half of this game. Well, see, we're already off to the wrong start. I didn't record it. That's the issue. I played it thinking I was recording it, but it wasn't. So, yeah. In fact, let me just. Okay, yeah, it's recording. Okay, one minute and nineteen seconds. Okay, it's recording. Let's just just wanted to put that out there. So, yeah, where have I been? All over the place, bro. Okay, imagine if a turd had an anus. That's where I've been. In there, in the dark, crying alone, burning alive, Loki. Um. So yeah, that's what I've been done. Um, but don't worry, the school is coming to an end in about a week. So. Yeah, you can see that I started. Last save, 8.05. That's when I finished playing the game. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna begin on a different slot. Just with a whole new game, y'all. I'm really liking this game. It's It starts a little bit slow, but, you know. Yeah, hard mode. Um, but yeah, I hope I get... Twelve well, dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. I'll let it play for you, and as the game progresses, I'll be telling you about what I did, what I found out, etc. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Oh yeah, it is horror vision of uh, Ratatouille. Alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. Society builds such vain cities, crafting the enlightenment made for endless liberalism. Life. New questions flourished as old answers withered. withered. What is darkness? But lurking sun. What is wall but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? What is this intro but came awaiting? Awaiting. Uh, game waiting. Death. Game pending. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. Retribution? A true punishment would be to never know its sweet. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. This is literally Dark Souls, but you know, mild. Bro, this is exactly what it feels like to shit after like four days being constipated. Like it hurts, just like this. This is exactly you. You can't see straight. It's just black and white. Look at that man. That man is a turd. Looks like one. Also, something I noticed, and you guys tell me as the game progresses, does this man not look like the Giga Chad model? Just think about that for the rest of the game, for the rest of your lives. For any, like, future British person, because I haven't been to England, um, sorry, Great Britain, um, tell me if this is the everyday experience of a British person, because from what I hear, it sounds very accurate. It seems very accurate, so. <laughs> an average British morning. Average 9 to 5 British worker. Ah, yes, period blood. Vlad, bring me your blood. Thirsty. So thirsty. Yep. 
Hasn't felt the touch of a woman in decades, bro. F. Press F for respect. I knew you were alive! How long does he not recognize it? Like, as, even as a vampire, like, any vampires in the chat just... Are there any vampires in the chat that can confirm that... Like, when you wake up immediately thirsty, you just can't recognize anybody? My sweet brother. Jonathan, that's his name. I was calling him John Mary. last time I played it. Oh, no. Mary. Uh, 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 hold on. Please, hold on. Is John John is like short for Jonathan? Now that I'm thinking about it? No. 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 Old games just have such a magic about them. That's fucking crazy, bro. Ah, oh, there's this other game in my PS4 that is kind of like this that I want to play as well. Kind of name. It's a nightmare. Post not clarity below. Please, a moment. Let me explain. That is crazy aim. 1918, bro. That's crazy aim. Yeah, this game takes place in 1918, I believe. And yes, the developers did make it in 1980. No, no, don't shoot. Oh, fucking machine this is guns. a nightmare. I need to get out of oh, here. Oh shit. Yup. Oh my god. Yep. This can't be happening. Over there! Oh lord. No, please stop! I mean you no know harm. Bro, they ain't hearing you right now. How do they just assume it's me? What's going on? Damn, it's a crazy fall. Oh, yeah, I lost my What have I done? What's all this about? Has it fled? You mean Shit, it, bro? It nah, I can defend myself. Oh yeah. I love how he always goes from, "What is all this? What is all this to?" Yes. Now I can defend myself. Who are you? Stay back. Hey, where have you learned all this? All right, he was a he's a, he's a war veteran. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have left me no choice. I must rob you now. You? Stupid beast! Dodge. Yeah, I know. Bro. bro, let's go. Yeah, I got stamina. This is literally like... Sorry. Sorry. Nope, this way. There's one of them! What no. is oh, yeah. Please stop! Come here. Fight me here. Oh wow. Wow, still hit me. Who are you? Delphi, please! Look at this. Shit. What the fuck have you called me, mate? What do you want? does not correspond with the proper lexicon that you're supposed to use with somebody of my stature. Listen to me. I mean you know how. Put on the gun. I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech. Oh my god, I just realized this man is literally Please. this is Listen taking the I can't make any Wait, no. sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who Wait. are you? Well, what is this all about? Ah, ah, what in God's sake! That'll do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. 
Oh lord. I was gonna say, this doesn't this take place at the same time as the Peaky Blinders? The sun. It feels like Certain it's elements, burning me to the bone. Uh, more aggravated damage other reasons your mind. Yeah, that means I can't heal past that point, which is I fucking need to find somewhere to hide. But then again, I'm playing. Let me go. Yep, I'm away, please. Get I'm away, please. I need to find shelter. Any loot? No. I got you, I got you, my boy, I got you. Doesn't this take the same, like... Is anybody there? So does that mean that I'm part of the Peaky Blinders, possibly? What is this place? I'm one of their doctors. Put down the gun, Timmy. Put down the gun, Timmy. You don't want to hurt us. You don't want to hurt us. This seems abandoned. Really? No there shit, be Jonathan. Enough. What is this? Brother. What uh, oh yeah, Renaissance painter. Mary. It's always Mary, Mary. isn't it? Uh, Mary Victoria Mary. Claire. I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. John, Charles, oh my god, they did granny dirty. Yikes. God damn. Even the producers did da like granny dirty, bro. She was, wow, she was done dirty from the beginning. From the very start. Oh. We've got drip now. Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> Nah, give him Why name. does he look like a rat, Loki? Like his face. I don't know what it is. I think it's his nose and the, the his weird ass beard. Bro. How do you get your beard That's trimmed impossible. in 1918? There's gotta be somebody dedicated to that shit. Like, how do you got time for that in the middle of the plague? <laughs> England and its 1300 fucking plagues. Constantly under a plague of some type. Oh, okay. Uh, didn't check that side. That's how you know it's an old game, bro. The the movement. Just not bad, honestly. <laughs> That's funny. <gasps> We've acquired shillings. Fire and sun. I already read this, but you can... Um, oh, there it is. You can read it. Uh, do not fear the sun of fire. You can stop it to read it. Basically saying that sun and fire, uh, uh, like sun is not just enough, like fire is used, it's supposed to be used to really get rid of them completely. Like it burns the whole body, it, it, it gives no chance for regeneration. So I don't know what this man is looking at, that mirror not only is it broken, it's literally fogged, full of dust and condensation. Who goes there? Is it the bogey man? That's what they call him. Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> Damn, no. this game is really just No British simulator. I still have so much to accomplish. Objective? Live? Question mark? Perhaps, perchance. I still have so much left that needs doing. All right, Jonathan. Whatever you say, bro. Uh, on with your ramblings again. Oh God. This man just took his crack pipe. Oh my God. Oh.
Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. Yes! That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! Fuck the orders! I make the orders. Done. He'll live. And now what? Mm. We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. That's wild sentence. No, it never got easy. So he's an ex-soldier. Um, and since this is taking place in the 1980s, I am guessing he was in World War One, and for some reason he came back home. Probably like, uh, you can't read this. It's basically just saying it's the diary of this couple. Um, the wife was very badly sick. He was looking for a job. He couldn't find any. She probably turned, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, this man was literally in World War One. Got a veteran here. This makes no sense. This man None survived the whole war, no came back home just to die to a vampire, bro. It's a nightmare. That's it. Look at his bro, he's the Giga Child. Look at him. If he wasn't I don't know what came out first, the picture of the Giga Chad model of or 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 this model. Whichever one came out first, the other copied so it, bro. It. Shit. Warning, warning, warning. He does shoot himself, y'all. I'm just warning y'all. Rational thinking only. Come on, Jonathan. You just said you had too many things to do, bro. Now, let's get this over with. Like... Them, yeah. I never understood how it's. Also, what's the meaning of them? <laughs> oh my god, he's alive! You're telling me he survived? What the fuck? <laughs> Great, Jonathan. Now, not only. Did you fail at killing yourself? You have a wet bed and a completely and utterly ruined shirt. You can't even explain that anymore, bro. You have two bullet holes and you're not dead. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is. As mad as the moon. James blood in sunlight. That's the voice of the queen that every British person is born with inherently. Alright, skill tree. We're going with this. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravated damage instantly. I've seen that ability before in Dark Souls. Just don't know what it's called. All, all the Dark Souls uh, fanboys are going to be able to uh, probably like tell me. Um, actually, see, it's actually called this. Right? Like, like, bro, it's not that hard. You just need to know it. There's a cool ass fucking spear I can pierce people with. Oh, yeah. I will say playing this in mouse and key is funner than when I played it with um, controller. Yeah, by the way, I... Voice in my head. Quarantine? Oh, if PTSD. I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Alright. Anyways. Who is knocking at my door at this time of hour? This hour and day. Oh shit. Um, anyways, yeah, if you go back far enough in my channel, dead. you will see that I streamed I this like now. twice. On PS4, and then I stopped. I barely remember anything. Oh my lord. Yep. Dracula Untold on this bitch. If you haven't watched that movie, I highly recommend it. I don't care what ratings it has, it's good. End of discussion. Oh my god, this man is dead. 
Come over. Are you the one that can't get through that door? Like, stop talking. What do we got here? Ooh, the steak. And this is why this game is so unique. I'm recording. What do you want, bro? I must reach the West End. Go back home. Oh my God! Why you take my charger every time? What the? F Die, vermin! Where? Oh. What's up? What's up? What's up? Huh? What's up? I'll shank ya. Yeah. Run your pantaloons. Yeah. Drop them down for me. Empty your pockets, you hooligan. You illiterate, lowly educated peasant. A strength. Right. A strength I never knew I had. This man is having a whole post night. Right? Look lively! Holy sh I didn't know he could do that. Wow. Wow, what a miss. He just now realized that. Like, if you didn't know that, why were you attacking me? He just shot his own man. Wow, what a move. Give me my blood back. Oh wow, I missed it. Damn. Oh my god. Oh yeah. What the What a move. Oh my god. Give me my Oh yeah. And now we go to town. Every single, every fiber of my being is a fire. This man is having a whole like post not clarity pondering moment and I'm trying to make let us like survive. I love how easily you can just walk through things. Oh Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Eat shit, nerd. <laughs> my strength, my reflexes. Run me your shillings, bro. I'm not human anymore. I am here to educate you, lowly peasants, and the truth of my high intellect. Okay. High leveled intellect. It's a good way to practice my uh, my French. Um, ah, yes, the propaganda for the army. For glory! My poor sister. Kingdom. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. Sure, bro. For what happened to us. You yes, like Mary, but first. Doing this. Yeah, but first let me, uh, oh yeah, let me get those shillings, Mary. I swear to you. Ooh. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Oh yes, Jonathan. You know what that means, don't you? It means more shillings, Jonathan. Do I look like a lowly what will London have to say to me? Nothing, Jonathan. It's a fucking city. So many questions unanswered. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't care if it's a limehouse duck, bro. Another corpse. Have the 
very streets of London become a mausoleum. I mean, yeah, bro, you woke up in the middle of a mass grave. I think it's safe to say that London's gone to shit. Also, I love how London has this role to play in movies where it's either just the center of art and beauty or literally the place where the apocalypse begins. The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent. Or like the last place it reaches where it's either completely destroyed but it's like the forces of good and evil I fighting each other. The scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Perhaps it will lead you to some bitches. Fresh blood. The smell is so strong. Oh, Where has everyone gone? According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. Hmm. So that must be the killer's trail. Oh yes, new hideout. More abandoned places. Refill? Sure. I don't know what I'm refilling, but... Ooh, hello there. <gasps> what is this? Come and trigger parts and come and handle parts. I'm assuming that is for my gun. Unfortunately, I need three. Recycle this and recycle that. That way I can have some more things. We go over here so we can evolve. Sorry, yo. Just checking out some stuff real quick. Um, increase your blood absorption. Ooh. I'm gonna go with this one this time. The other time I chose this, but I'm gonna go with this first. That way I can actually regen or increase the regen. Oh yes. Look at Jonathan. What a formidable bachelor. The best that Britain has to offer. Anyways, we continue the search for this hooligan. It's Vandal. I don't lose any health from that. That's, That's strange. The trail is very erratic. As if the killer was drunk or hesitant. Mother, Jonathan. At last, a little life. Welcome, yes, sir, to the turquoise turf. Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. Thank you. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Mm-hmm. What's going on around here? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Such a dog shit, like, name the sewer dog. Who is, Who is the, the sewer, sewer dog? dog? It's the local bogeyman. The bogeyman! The answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blame the sewer dog, eh? Mm-hmm. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. Oh yes, a society, yes, yes. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. As one usually Are does. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Oh, an American, I see. I'll leave you to your bottle. Yes. See, your name is not Michael, it is Mike. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale. Just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, like thank a you. a piece of wood, bro. I'm not... 
not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. Um, what do you mean a long night? Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Oh my god. Don't you know about the murders? NPC. Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Mm-hmm. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. Are you a driller, by any chance? So I've seen your face on some of these YouTube videos. So we're on the south side of the south Where side, sir. Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir. The turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. Good man. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. Okay. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. <gasps> what? I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Well, you know what, sir? You stand a little bit disrespectfully, so maybe are you suggesting that you want to do unrespectable things? Also, let's talk to the barmaid. Hello there, Greta. Hello, sir. Are you alright? Is there any way I can help fine, you? Love. I don't know. Mm. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom, then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Talk to me, please. Well, yeah. Need to hear the voice of a woman I mean, before I kill another man. I best check on them. Well, you know what? You wench. I don't like you anyways. What is this place? What this else? is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. If you want to know. Oh, Sabrina. Where is everybody? You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Hmm. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. All right. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. Yes, yes, the Spanish flu, I think. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish yes. flu. Yeah, killed so many last summer. Those damn Thought Spanish always... Dozens dying every week. Getting in the way of British anything. business. Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. All right. I'll leave then. Thank you. <laughs> Get on my way, please. Thank you. I've got somebody to talk to. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Okay, thank you. Slowly, vampire. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. This man just has a whole ass arm length I, cross I need with him. A word. Anyone.
Does he literally wield the power of God in his hands? Like, how did he? How did he turn it off? This game has it all: aliens, religion, science, supernatural shit. And who might you be? Well, first of all, thank you for... I don't know, you first. Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. Well... That's none of your concern. I mean, Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, <laughs> indulge me. Something... Someone is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Touching them in their private parts, sir. I don't the like calling it. Card Makes me uncomfortable. Vampire. Like you. You can't be serious. Let's go for the Cartesian I'm approach. Not a, no. I can't be a, a vampire. Sir, believe me, this is very real. You are a vampire. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Oh, you are a detective. Let me see your credentials right now. Reddit, perhaps? Um... I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. The whole, the only reason Something why you invited me, me in here is because you. she realized I was mutual. eavesdropping. All right, whatever, bro. What do you? What know? have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. And what exactly is this brotherhood? You're gonna have to uh, bear with me, bro. These types of game, I like to take my time and go into the dialogue and shit, so, you know, explore. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. Because you invited me I in. I followed a trail. Dickhead. The scent of blood from a recent victim. I'm sorry, that's too it aggressive. led me here. For no reason. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. It does indeed. We're both chasing the same shadow. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will Sir. find the monster. He is mine. Yup. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Ah, uh, rip him to shreds. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Oh, indeed, my brother of St. Paul. I forgot his name already. I'm pretty sure you can see him on the tree. Um, no, not this guy. This guy is... Yikes. Nope. Tom Watts. More like... Tom Watts' his name. <laughs> Okay, well, can't see him. Oh, yes, I'll be robbing you of your shillings, sir. Thank you very much. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Oh, yeah, you already know Someone who I'm gonna tackle first. Evening, sir. Can I help you? You I indeed can. Questions for uh, Maria was. Uh, well, if you must. Sabrina. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think <laughs> like, Tom Like, sir, what the fuck are you that. talking about? I'm just, just walking. Okay? Literally. If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. That's a I pretty cock behavior. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's 
will. <laughs> Damn, she cracked sure. quick. It came in sure. earlier tonight. Oh, uh, Mills will. Well, I Fucking thought he will. Was William. What happened tonight? He was dead drunk as usual. My God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was uh, terrible. Every man at 5 p.m. every Sunday. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin, his hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair <sighs> that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. Mm. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why oh, keep it oh. a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure. Not very um gentlemanlike, I see, Sabrina. Uh, reveals a secret about a citizen. Yes. Ah, the citizen menu. Yes, you little lying cunt. Oh, you want to do lie to me? Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I had. Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight. <laughs> Immediately, yes. I will. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's oh, the truth. Oh, you're using the bitch disguise, huh? Acting like a little, uh, pussy. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. Don't worry, he'll be easy to find. Everybody in Great Britain is pretty much no, he's a mess. short. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Oh, you got it, my boy. Uncle Jack. He didn't deserve this. Oh, boy. Either that or... Turn into a vampire and... The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. Oh, is this him? William? This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. He's one of the soldiers. This corpse has been dried of its blood. Just like the previous victim. Almost like it's a vampire that's killing them all, isn't it, Jonathan? What's this? Some sort of note. He These was part men, of uh, the gang. There are blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Well, there was. are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. The f Yo. Why is he? What is he doing? He didn't even get stuck. Okay. What the fuck. Um. Oh yes. Ooh. Aluminum shard and aluminum powder. Huh? It's locked. All right. No problem, mate. Best turn around if I were you. More like best. Not fuck around if I was you. Damn. Yikes. All split. Wild. Wild way to go out. I'm not even gonna try to do that because it's gonna blow up. Ammunition crate. Good. I 
may need a lot of bullets. <gasps> oh, true, 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 true. now that I can actually do it. Mm. Like I'm back on the front line again. Dad thought it wasn't gonna be loaded. Mm. Wow. I didn't think it was gonna be loaded. I don't know why I didn't think it was gonna be loaded. Uh, last time it wasn't. Sorry, y'all. It's a waste of a bullet. Oh, my lord. My first victim. Over there! Hole. We have patch one. More aluminum shards and lead plates. Steady, boys. We've got one of them. Are you serious? Man, <laughs> catch one. Oh, he didn't like that. Man, catch another one. He, he didn't care. Come here. Wow, I did not see that move before. That was wild. Oh yeah. Steady boys! That's not what I They don't stand a chance. Imagine giving Dracula a gun on top of being able to teleport and shit like... Oh my god, I misclicked. I should really stop doing that, I gotta save ammunition. But at the same time it's like... Hmm, gun. Ooh. Um, oh, right. This is about how um, they gotta up their level. Um, they can't be hunting them during the day. You gotta, they gotta hunt them while they're more vulnerable, which is when they're hunting. So at night, and also use grenades, new types of weaponry, ultraviolet light and shit. I don't know who they think they are. This is not Underworld, bro. Like, y'all are not gonna have that type of technology like that. Like, Okay, let's see. New hideout. <laughs> like that sound. Common handle parts and lead part plates. Uh, we will do some plundering in a second. Oh, the common trigger. Mm. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh? Wait. Increases damage dealt by 10%. Decreases stamina consumption by 10%. Mmm. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. And now we evolve. We become better. Imagine going to sleep and just waking up being better. Yep. We're gonna up the amount of blood that we can have. And that's it, because that's what we can do. All you need is love! Uh, sorry. And we continue on our adventure. Oh yeah, apparently they respawn, so that's pretty fucking epic.
Really? I'm a killer? Ooh, no shit, bro. That's like, that's why you're attacking me in the first place, no? Oh, yeah, look at my health go back up. Oh, yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Lead rot? Scythe? <gasps> Two-handed what this is literally like modern day Dark Souls. Like Dark Souls wasn't like 3000 BC. This is 1918 AD. Oh, yeah. Boss battle time. Boss battle time. William, please stop. Just a sip this creature is bedeviled. Uh, give me a second, sir. I'm about to show the people what they want. I must put it down. Two hundred and seven, huh? Oh yeah, he don't like that. Come on, old man, William Bishop, yeah. William, you look done, bro. Ooh, 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 ooh. I can't, damn. Damn! Used bludgeon? Alright, sir. Give me a second. Yep, give me a second, sir. I know, I know. Just give me a hold up. Oh, yeah. Give me those lead rods. Hold up. Damn! Let me go. Sleep completely. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are really? you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return uh -oh. to my flock. They'll stay um. without me. <sighs> Left. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? <laughs> no, dear. Me? I'm far I better so than I you. I already have. I am far better than you are. By all means. Come on, Irish man. St. Patrick's Day is done. Isn't that Scottish? By George and the Saints, oh, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. I don't want to start a warrior. I just want to visit Scotland and I want to visit Patience, Ireland fellows, I've come and to Iceland help. after that. So, just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man oh, requires right. medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. Bro, you no, need please. to stop I drinking is what you need. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise and you'll need a place to rest. Oh. I just need a moment. And I can learn this something about what has happened to William. Is about be a step to be the to understanding part I stopped at before I realized my recording wasn't recording. The recording this was poor more. creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? Ah. I must find a place to analyze the blood. Blood sample. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 
That's a nice little cute like wheel. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a romantic moment now. Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh my god. For a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. Oh my but god, I will tell bro. You she values her privacy. Really? Because she just saved my life. So if she did, I think well, she would have just left me for dead. She appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, oh, Dr. Oh, Reed. How, how do you know who I am? Look no at that man, mistake. bro. He's gone. He Dr. ain't hearing Jonathan none Reed. of this. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if <laughs> I'm not mistaken. He hearing about religion, about you science, about war. He's like, oh, it. that say calls to me. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. Have we met? <laughs> I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost oh. admiration for your research. <laughs> and what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> oh, he's a fanboy. Word again from a so-called man of science. I understand traditionally the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Can you study that man, bro? Because I'm interested in knowing what he's on. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. Yeah, but it's also a... This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was and you killed your sister. This affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I don't really think... I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Shit. So, I mean, what do you just for that... For sure. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Fuck yeah, bro. You're cool, man. I mean, yeah, bro, it's about the only option I really got, like... It's either that or homeless, or keep going around persecuted and fucking the thing is though like a hospital is full of blood and people bleeding and people sick and shit it's just like it's gonna be twice as hard for me Dr. Swansea thank goodness I was beginning to be concerned worry no more nurse crane for I bring good news oh doctor what a night we lost two more patients nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. 
and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> Oh, yes. Imagine that's like literally miraculous news to these people. Imagine being like up to the Here neck with not it's being not able to do have. anything to help the people you're supposed to haven't. like help. Thanks to Nurse Craig and then you just get the news that, that you get one of the best blood surgeons ever known her. in your hospital. You're, you're like, fuck Thank yeah. You. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. <laughs> we'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, but Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jonathan's like, bro, you good? You coming? I cannot enter. Okay. You shall not pass. Oh, you bastard. You can do better than that. What? Yeah. It's my turn. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Rotten or crusty, each heart can do the why? What just happened, brother? Oh, well, come on, you bastard! I won't bite. Oh, but I Sir, will. Please, you've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. I love the way that Jonathan goes from right, please calm down to sorry. insulting a good Samaritan. Huh. The guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was a, I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen the high blood, the more XP you'll get. You first need to mesmerize them to lead you out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level should be equal to Q to mesmerize clay. Oh my god. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Endure. Embrace. Embrace him, Jonathan. Embrace him. In the back, you bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Oh, him. That was him. I was like, huh? Dumb party, dumb party. Come and handle part. Oh my god, bro. Such a divine sin. Bro, you're gonna keep talking to me like the whole game? Like, don't you got anything better to do? Man had the whole audacity to turn me into a vampire just so he can, like, talk to somebody. Is that a friend? You don't got all night. Shit. These people don't got all night. Hey, ma'am. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. Indeed, doctor. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Damn, already got a plate with my name? Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. What's up, Dorothy? Your office has been prepared. Alright, Dorothy, you cool. 
Can you answer me some questions? I would like to ask a few questions first. Oh. <laughs> she just fucking told you, bro. <laughs> what kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you Thanks accepted small the job talk. from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. No, yeah, well, not really the circumstances, you know. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Well, I mean... I feel like given the circumstances, not really. Apologies, well, I've only just met him the once. Like, if they're working this together to save people, I've you're gonna get to know to the people you're working with. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Alright, Dorothy. How is Mr. Hampton? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Right. Alright, thank you, Thank Dorothy. you, Nurse Crane. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Now you can get back to your rounds and I can... Oh, I can talk to these people. Yo! Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. How do people just I already know about me? better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was oh. assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Oh yeah, and I'm part of the Peaky Blinders. Um, wow. Okay. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. Not really, bro. I was working in the middle of a war f war zone, so hey, as long as it's a fucking solid building, I think I'll be fine. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Doctor Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Oh yeah, and I'm a vampire, and I'm about to bring that hope, baby. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. <laughs> Damn. During this troubled period... So that's where the no hope went, huh? Slide. Down the fucking I toilet. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Alright, who paid you to say that, bro? Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. Branigan. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. Mm -hmm. You really seem to admire her skills. Okay. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Okay, doctor. Okay. Okay. Corcoran tippets. Calm down. Any opinion about Don't get too man. excited now. I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't hmm. get me wrong, Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Right, talk to the people more. Alright, uh, tip it. I just did the... Uh, Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Alright. Damn. The the nurse Branigan was just here and I interrupted their conversation. He was probably flirting with her, huh? Giving her that um 1850s, 1860s riz. Because this is 1980 and that man looks fucking old. Actually, not that old. He looked like, what, 50? Uh, yeah. Giving her that medieval times riz. Um... That's where he sleeps. Probably. Glass vial. I'm gonna steal all your shit real quick. Sorry, doctor, but I need it for my improvements. I'm not gonna talk to him. Okay, let's try to progress a little bit longer, and uh, next time I'll try to talk to the people. Good evening, miss. Hello, ma'am. I'm Dr. Reed, 
the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. Mm. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. Oh, a poet. What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Mm. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep Thelma. calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal... What are you? Well, yes. Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Oh, do you wish to breed with me? Um, personal questions. Who are you really? Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? Oh, yes. I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? Hmm. Alright, Hawcroft. Hufflepuff. Ravenclaw. <sighs> I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover. Oh. To hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. Right, As right. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Hmm. Your enemies. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Who can are the infidels, Miss Howcroft? But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. Oh. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. So, like voices in your head. Perhaps the bogeyman. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. Oh, Pri Freeware, or whatever his name was. These the, people the gang. will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Fuck, bro. She's getting... Oh, new investigation. She's getting haunted by the fucking pets of the gods. Like. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Give this woman a fucking notebook and a pencil, please. Oh, what? I haven't heard of this. Huh? I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome? Cotard syndrome? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named... Is it now, Jonathan? The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Any one of a series of delusions that range from a belief that one has lost organs, blood, or body parts to insisting that one has lost one's soul or is dead. Oh, you have touched uh, upon uh, your academia, I see, Jonathan. I'll continue to watch you closely. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. Mm -hmm. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Yes, yes. I'm sure that's a lyric in some song from today. Are you sure you're not a driller? Perhaps, Mrs. Howcroft. More like Howcraft. How come you're here? Alright. Well... Well... Gonna probably have to ask one of the nurses about her. I'll leave you, Mistress, Mistress of, of the, the dark, dark, to your nocturnal activities. All right. Staring at the wall, I see. Oh, okay. Maybe if I follow her. She walks around like a like a little gnome, bro. Like a little. All right. Um, damn, I really said let's go keep with the story and I'll talk to people later and then I go. See, I, I just love it, bro. I just love this type of game where I just get to go around, explore. Alright. Um, let me just... Oh, she's talking to another patient. Spare me the... Oh, so people just play along with her, yeah. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um... 
I just want to save it so that we can spying on Thelma. I'm guessing that she's probably schizophrenic. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. She's probably like schizophrenic. And there is somebody spying on her, but it's not probably malicious, it's... This game is so fucking cool. Ah, patient, Thomas Elwood, male, age 28. Followed by Dr. Tippett, status convalescence. Mm, the patient's face has been heavily burned and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds as if the flames are still burning under the skin, he says. Examinations of the cicatrice. Tissues show no trace of inflammation. Infection or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persisting nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Interesting. Thomas Elwood. Oh, wow. The loot. Dr. Tippett's. Strickland and Ackroyd. Oh. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Damn. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. Brother, it's just a fucking office. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> yes, yes. Very funny. Bro. I don't need all of this. Like, I get the whole... You need to stay alone because of what you are thing, but... I'll be super... The flower's dying. It needs water. And where is the water? Can I... Can I... Where, where's the water? Can I get some water? Holy shit, bro. I got so much stuff. What is this? Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office. Uh, please forgive the Austria decoration, but Prembo is not exactly the red. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal. I also give orders to let you rest, and for the staff to never enter your room, you will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed and work all night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there is an open window with a scaffolding. One that it will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. Damn, what a G. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand that you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured I'll do whatever I can to help you. You're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad. Damn. What a real one, bro. He's like giving me like... Like giving uh, Jonathan like real emotional comfort. Like being a real one. Just, you know, I'm here, bro. Like I've, I, I've studied people like you. Like don't worry. You're here with somebody that understands you. So just let me know. I run this place. So <laughs> I'm glad I met you. These dark times where we are all pleasant, uh, presently facing. Um, collaboration will yield great results. I hope he doesn't die, bro. What a real one. Yep. Thank you, Dr. Swamp C. Swamp Water. Article on Ekans. It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires or econ. As they prefer to call themselves. Ah. So we, we past 10 years. So this has been going on for a while. It's just now it's becoming more of a more noticeable. Supernatural speed, a vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but he, the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal on a few occasions. Alarm, surprise, necessity to flee. Almost have you vanished to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but it is not to teleport or dematerialization. It is only a supernatural speed. For me, 
It is a cat-like attribute. Uh, mesmerism. Oh, right, right, right. Interesting. Wow. Um, I really want to water the plant, but I don't see water. How can I water the plant, lad? Fucking plant's gonna die on me. Here I am. Jerking off and shit. Alright, let me just, uh, upgrade my shit first, then. Okay. Oh, the blood sample, right? That's exactly what I'm here for. Jesus. Ooh. Thank you for taking Alright. Oh my. Holy shit, bro. I have so much stuff. I can only find everything. Got to test a hatchet. Bro, I have so much shit to try. The side is alright. There's a lot of damage, but I'll see how I fare with against people. Um, small bottle. No. Uh, bottle of chicken. No, hold up. Um, let's see. What should I? Can I? No, not yet. No, I can't handle parts. Oh shit. Go to the side. I can actually do this side. Um, use machine. Wait, wait. Okay, I'll let me shard powder, but do I need that to upgrade something else? Cause... Bro, I really want to test this out, so I'm gonna upgrade this. And then what I'm gonna do is. Make sure you upgrade this. Alright, it's good. And let's evolve. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, what is this? Defensive? Mmm. Just take a thousand, bro. Close range strike, cut through any uh, living creature, increases your stamina, increases your health. I think I'm gonna go with this. Yep. Plus 50, plus 100. Big thirst. Science. Medical bag. You can now carry three serums on you. Increase the number of bullets you can carry. Well, okay. Shadow Veil. Tactical. Toggle. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will drain your stamina. You will exit the shadows if you attack or dodge. Or when your stamina is empty and spring, you perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Ooh. Okay, so this is like 600. What is this? You create an invisible barrier absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Coagulation. You will block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. That is fucked up. <gasps> okay. I think I'm gonna go... <sighs> with this all right all right we're level six and shit we got several things to take care of so um yeah i think i'm gonna leave it there y'all Ah, try to water the plant next time or something. Um, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you did, stay till the end. Hope you're enjoying this game because I am. Um, yeah, I'll probably finish this series. Try to sneak in some horror games. I saw that Emika Games, a developer that we have played the, their games in the channel before, has released. Did release a video game that I never knew about. Like I did, I noticed it a while back, but I was waiting for another one of their video games to come out. But in the meantime, they released that one. It's counting to six, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, I'll try to record that. Um, there are also some games by Vincent Laid, the creator of Hearthorn, that I've been meaning to try to like get into. So I'll probably like ease into the horror game trending again with that. Trying to kick off the summer with a bang, with a, you know, good, good routine. And yeah, stay true, be you, and I'll see you in the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all amazing. Bye-bye.